I'm gonna uncover the fascinating diversity behind this all-American staple, dig into its history. I love the way you just lay it in like it's your baby. Look at that. Layer over. Wow. Elaine taught me a good life lesson, set the bar high, and the bar for her was as tall as her pie. It's like a meatball inside out. It's like the sauce is on the mm -hmm. inside instead of over. That burnt sugar butter that just slides out of the back of my tongue is unbelievable. Creamy. You ready? Let's grill it. On over, Jeffrey. Good to see you, man. Avi, how are you? Always good to see you. Yeah, you absolutely good. Look at your cutting board here. I see some habanero chilies and some limes, onions, and there's some chili powders or something happening there. Today's menu is like absolutely a representation of every great culinary discover I've had in Mexico. Now we're gonna get these uh, fish going. You know, by itself, the achiote, yeah, it looks like red clay. And what I love about this stuff is whether you put it on pork or chicken and let it stew for hours until it shreds apart and it's this juicy, stewy mixture, or you got 10 minutes, you rub it on a piece of fish, sear it on the grill, it's great. Today, please welcome our judge, Chef Jeffrey Saad. Welcome. Hey, Good to see that, Rose. Nice, nice to meet you. He is this looks awesome or so what? Perfect oh for getting his grill on. Yeah. So right. yeah. All right. So first, why don't you tell these guys kind of the game plan? What are the challenges yeah. and and what are the rules for them? All right, guys. Here's how it's gonna work. So there's gonna be one of three proteins that you'll be working with, either chicken breast, pork chops, or steaks. These are summer's hot cocktails. It'd be the kind of drink that you'd have one throughout the whole meal, and you would just slowly enjoy it. And the garnish is a whole star anise. It's no longer just, here's your umbrella, have a nice vacation. The garnish is a part of the experience. The steak sandwich. I need thin onion, voila. And you're gonna spread those out evenly in the pan. Toss them. I mean, I can smell the mint, I can smell the harissa. Steak goes on, beautiful. You got arugula. Arugula's like spinach with attitude, this really nice pepperiness. It's day four of the manager boot camp. We've got these incredible managers. They've got three locations. This is the third. It's about to open, still a little bit rough. Everything's coming together. While the front's coming together, my job is to get We're in Hong Kong, my friend Ken and I. We've only been here 24 hours. We've already had the most insane dim sum breakfast. I mean, thousand year old egg and some shark fin soup, which I'm gonna tell you to skip that one. So now we're walking back from all this yesterday. We're exhausted, we're jet lagged, although we're not admitting it. And when you love food, you get like a sixth sense. You just see a place and you know it's gonna be good. This is the Mexico I love. This is the Mexico I fell in love with 20 years ago when I first came here. It's amazing food in the places you least expect. So this place is so simple. We start off with this huge bucket of beautiful, juicy, smoked marmot. Anise seed is a small seed, but don't let that fool you because it delivers huge flavor.